Welcome to another edition of For All Seasons. I'm Todd Murray, along with former WVU quarterback Fred Wyant. And Fred, the Mountaineers coming off a 41-27 win against number four Baylor. And we probably saw more yellow flags flying through the air Saturday at Milan Pushkar Stadium than we ever had. A record 18 penalties for Baylor, 12 for WVU. Have you ever seen you know, anything like that? I, I've never seen anything that uh, looked like that and what they called a penalty. And then, of course, I was at home, so I was watching that uh, the gentleman out in California, I believe, or Texas, mm -hmm. that was commenting on everything. Right. And I thought it was, uh, first of all, I didn't think Baylor was that good. Secondly, we can't beat we we can't beat anybody and have 11 penalties. I mean that's that's really tops in right. the country. Either that or we just don't know the rules, and, and that could well be too because they talked about changing them and changing them and changing them. Mm -hmm. But what I saw based on my experience in the National Football League was the fact that uh, that. We fouled a lot more than that. They fouled, there was late hits, there was, uh, the game lasted for, I think, right. four hours and 20 minutes, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, yeah. Were you a little surprised Baylor didn't make some adjustments? WV was throwing the ball downfield for Kevin White. Their, their quarterbacks weren't playing the ball. They were, they were, you know, running into White and, you know, every time, pass interference. Well, they were, the kid, I'm assuming the rule is the same. As long as he looks back, then it wouldn't have been a foul. He never looked back, right. you know, one time. The other, the other thing is that White's pretty slick, and he's, you know, he gets away from those guys. He uses his hands. Mm -hmm. uh, there would, there would have been several times based on the way our rule was. Uh, or the way pass interference always had been, that he would have been, uh, we, he'd had a lot more calls against him because right. he uses his hands right. to shove off. He's a, he, he really does a masterful job whether or not he could do that in a big game. And I, and I don't know how the officiating, whether this group of officiating that officiates in the Big 12 is as good as the group in the mm -hmm. Big 10 or something like that, so. All right. I know the big question this week, coming off that big win, uh, they've got to go to Oklahoma State and Stillwater on Saturday. Is How is this team going to respond? Uh, they, they have to put that Baylor win behind them and concentrate on the Cowboys, or you know, there's a good chance uh, that they're going to lose in Stillwater Saturday, right? Well, I think that everything's pretty even in that in the Big 12, and and so uh, to go out there, uh, Oklahoma State's tough out there, and whether or not the main thing is that we've had well, how many six straight games that have been great by Trickett and the and the the young place kicker. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they're both, I made up my mind watching that. If I were ever coaching in college, first thing I'm doing is I'm going out and find a kicker like that kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he's, uh, he's the solution to a, a lot of problems. And Trickett has been just outstanding. He's played, mm -hmm. if he can stay well, why? They got a chance of doing well in, in the final standings. Right. I guess we would be remiss if if we didn't talk about some of the post game mayhem that occurred early Sunday morning uh, uh, in the in the downtown area of Morgantown. Unfortunately, we've we've had this play out before after some big football wins, and uh, obviously it it makes the university and the city look bad. What 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 do you think can be done to? Well, to I think somebody's. This? What's going to happen? Somebody's going to get killed. And it's not going to be, and if they blame the police, you know, like they have in other places, it's a different type of thing. But 
the, there's a, a huge problem. They had, uh, I think, 38 or 39 of their firemen were down there, right. and if they'd had a fire someplace else, it would have burned down. People mm -hmm. could have died, and right. and uh, they've got to get. In my opinion, it's always been that way. You got to get rid of those, uh, the kids or the people or the adults or whomever they are that are doing all that because. Uh, you know, there'll be a group of people that get run over, like in that picture sure. of that uh, trash bin coming sure. down through there. Sure. So it's not good. And it, and just when we were, they had that nice article in the paper uh, before the people came here about how they were, everybody w enjoyed themselves from mm -hmm. Oklahoma and they were coming right. in and things. Well, they. I mean, it didn't look like to me in the stands that they were being all that nice to the people that were sitting up there, Yeah. too, so... Yeah, just to have to hope that uh, they can get that under control. Yeah. Fred, thanks for your time, as You're always, welcome. and Thank please you. continue to follow our WVU football coverage on thedepost.com.